three, two, one. Well, hello, everyone. I hope this uh, new episode finds everyone well and uh, looking forward to the new year. I know we are. Uh, yes, you saw the countdown. Uh, it's kind of funny. I watched the uh, video after Miss Empire had posted it, and she left the countdown in it. And the only reason why I do the three, two, one is to give her a cue of when to start the editing process. Uh, it was kind of amusing. We had a big laugh over that. I guess you could chalk this up to kind of behind the scenes. And Miss Empire is just smiling and doing this behind the camera back there. But in any case, at some point, I'm going to try to get her on camera for you guys. Uh, Cindy, do you have anything to say to the uh, subscribers and to our viewers? She's doing this. <laughs> you can hear her laughing. Hopefully you can hear her laughing behind the scenes. I caught her uh, off guard. But the important stuff we'll get to in just a moment, and that is the drawings. Uh, let me just say, we couldn't do what we do without our subscribers and viewers, and we greatly appreciate uh, you guys leaving the comments and giving us instruction and your thoughts on the videos. And uh, we're happy that um, many or most of you find them either one, amusing, informative, or just something to watch in the background. But either in either case or all the cases above, we do appreciate you watching us. So uh, I've got lights kind of all over the place here. You can see it normally. You don't see it in the background. But uh, it's because I've got the two cameras and I've got one of them positioned right here in front of me so I can show the things that we're going to be giving away for each of the drawings. The very first drawing is going to be for the 1938 D over D uh, RPM 1 uh, Buffalo Nickel. And we, we, we thought we might give you some idea of what it's worth. We went out and looked and looked on eBay and uh, we looked on uh, Numista NGC. And there was no RPM1 listed. So there's two things I would say about that. Either there's no collector interest in it, and I hope that is not the case, or it's kind of a, a rare, uh, rare coin in terms of as compared to the RPM2, 3, or 4. What I'm going to do is go to the other camera, swing it over to her computer. We've already got all the names pasted in the Excel spreadsheet. I'll cut it out paste it in the randomizer that will select a name out of all those, and then we'll run it. And then after that, we'll do it for each of the other giveaways. And I'll show you the giveaways before we do it each and every time. So bear with me. I'm changing camera view. We'll see if we can get this done seamlessly. Okay, and that's just staring at the, the camera that controls the cameras, the computer that controls the cameras and the mics. So here is the annex. Let's see if I had it come in focus. There it is. 1938 D over D, Buffalo Nickel, RPM-1, AU-58. And I'm hoping that I can roll this thing around. You can see that blue Tony. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, there's this light that's just kind of glaring it. But you can kind of see it. And also for that, the one that wins the 1,000 subscriber drawing, we're going to throw in this Texas penny. Let me rotate it around where you can get a good view of that. So I don't know if this will it come into focus. Okay, there they are. Now, I don't really control the state roster of Texas citizens, but uh, I think anyone that receives this Texas penny ought to be a, an honorary Texan. So the 1,000 subscriber drawing winner We'll get this beautiful buffalo nickel with that bluish toning on it, RPM1, and the Texas penny. Okay, so now I'm going to put these down, put them right here. I'm going to rotate this camera around to the one that's going to do the selecting. I'll adjust it. And hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab, click over here, I'm going to grab all those that are have left our subscribers and left a comment. Grab them all. Watch as I do this. We're trying not to overshoot. There it is. Whoops. So I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to click on the app for the randomizer. And here it is. And I'm going to paste. So now all the names of those that are 
that have met the criteria for leaving a comment and becoming a subscriber. All those names are in the randomizer, all right? So when I click this, it's gonna do a countdown. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get a little closer. It looks like, okay, you can see it a little bit, a little better, but uh, I'll just go ahead and scroll down again and scroll up again. So you can see all, at least all the names that we picked out that were qualified for the drawing. And when I click this link right here, you'll see it do a countdown and the winner will be selected. Here it goes. Four, three, two, one. The winner is Margaret Wright. How about that? Congratulations, Margaret. You are now the proud owner of this Buffalo Nickel 1938 D over D. If I can get it to focus. 1938 D over D AU 58. Will it focus? Probably not. Come on, focus for us. And you're now, by my my thinking, an honorary Texas citizen. How about that? And oh, by the way, it wouldn't do us right if we didn't show the reverse. This is the Alamo. And every Texas Texan is proud of what was accomplished at the Alamo and thereafter. All right, congratulations, Margaret. We're so happy for you. I uh, will put this aside in an envelope. Now, what you need to do is uh, get us your app, send an email to ECC. The information is down below and uh, with your address, and we'll get this in the post right out to you. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to clear this, and we're going to do another drawing for the other subscribers. So we're going to go back to the spreadsheet, and I'm going to recopy. Whoops. I'm going to recopy. Whoops, I'm moving now, aren't I? Recopy. Huh. There we go. And the reason we have to do this is the app doesn't recount the, the countdown unless we start from scratch each and every time. So I'm recopying. And by the way, if you won something previously in this drawing, uh, you're not eligible to win a second prize, just so everybody knows. So we're going to go back to the randomizer. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click this in. We're going to paste it. And before we do that, let me show you what the second gift is going to be. This is a beautiful, will you uh, focus? I always have trouble with these cameras. There it is. It's a 1969 S MS 64 red, red, red. Look at that jewel. Isn't that gorgeous? So the winner of this random selection is going to take home this particular coin. And Annex does such a beautiful job. I love the Annex packaging. Uh, it's just it's just very striking in hand. All right, so let's go ahead, come back to the screen. Here's my cursor. I'm going to click on pick a random name, and here we go. Oh, it didn't count down. Well, that's okay. Max F has uh, won this MS 64. Excuse me, MS 64 1969 S Lincoln set. Congratulations, Max. Um, Max. Uh, what I didn't do is get out of the app and come back in. And so that's my, my mistake. But Max, you're now the proud owner of the MS64 Red 1969S Lincoln Cent. How about that? Congratulations. What else do we have to give away? Well, this is kind of a composite. What we have to give away this time is a tube of Maya Angelou quarters. They're brand new and it's just gorgeous. I mean, if you spent them, they'd get you $10, but they're actually worth a little more simply because they're uncirculated Maya Angelou quarters. And we're throwing in on top of that a, a WWDAR, that's a double die reverse, 043 Lincoln sent during the uh, his uh, younger years. Isn't that gorgeous? So these are together. This is for the third drawing. I'm going to get out of the app this time. All right, we're getting, all right, we're getting out of the app. We're going to go back and reselect all the names. Let me get out of that to start from scratch. All right. I'll get, my, get this down to a process pretty soon. 
It's the first time we've used the randomizer. We've always drawn names out of the hat, but we thought that'd be too, too cumbersome. All right, we're getting to the bottom here. Just bear with me. There we are. Whoops, get that last name. We're going to copy it. And then we're going to click on the randomizer. Will that app come up? The app is up. We're going to paste in the names. All the names are in it. So let me just scroll. You can't really see it. It's not in focus on the camera, but it's they're all there as I scroll up and down. Now we're going to pick, uh, initiate the randomizer, and it will pick the winner. What's the winner getting? It's the winner will get in this drawing the tube of my Angelo quarters and the DDR Lincoln Cent in his younger years. All right, here it goes. Who's going to be the winner? David Styers. How about that? David, uh, you've been such a wonderful uh, subscriber, commenting and making multiple comments about the videos. We do appreciate your support. So, yes, you won the tube of my Angelo quarters and the 2009 WDDR, WDR, that's the Lincoln Sense Younger Years. All right. So uh, Cindy will make note of that, Miss Empire. We're going to get out of the app, and we've got another thing to give away. So as we come back to the camera, let me see if I can reselect everybody. Coming right down. Getting a little faster at this. Okay, now I've got a comment about the next giveaway. So we got it. We're ready to go. We'll go ahead and draw, pull up the app. We'll go ahead and paste the names in it. And before we actually initiate the selection, random selection, I want to show you what you're, we're drawing for. If, if you're a true Texan, you must wear a belt buckle. And what better belt buckle to wear than a United States Buffalo nickel how about that? And oh, by the way, it's an S. It's an S mint mark. Of course, here's the back. Brand new, beautiful belt buckle. So if you're truly a Texan, you're going to wear this belt buckle. And by the way, uh, around the north central Texas area, the motto is where the West began or begins, I should say. All right. Enough of all that chatter. You're going to be, the drawing's going to be for this Buffalo nickel belt buckle. Who is the winner? Nishetti. Four, three, two, one. Martin Nipps. Martin, you're now at the proud owner of the Beth, Buffalo Nickel Belt Buckle. How about that? Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Uh, I want to see you wearing it, okay? You need to promise all of us that you'll take a picture of it and send it to uh, the chat or to our email, and we'll show it in uh, one of our next episodes. So uh, congratulations. All right, we have one other giveaway. And let me just show it up here. Everybody knows I love using these binders. Uh, and it comes out of Canada, the supplier. I bought a number of them. I don't know, over the, over the past couple of years, I've probably bought uh, 40 or 50 of them. And these are nice little stock books uh, and uh, collection organizers. It has 60 pockets in it. And if you want the winner of this, let me know. And if you want, I will uh, autograph it on the inside cover of the book before we send it to you. Okay? So that's what we're going to be drawing for in the last drawing. So let me go ahead and get out of the app. Let's get out of the app. We're going to reselect all the names. I think we know the process now, don't we? At least I do. I think I do. That's when I get in the most trouble, when I think I know something. How about, oh, goodness gracious, I just lost it. See, I spoke too soon, didn't I? How about that? Let's go ahead and get out of that. Come on. These are Ron's technical difficulties. All right, there's the top. So we're going to re-grab it. How do you guys up north say it? Do you say grab? We kind of use those words here in Texas. When, you, when you're going to get something, you go grab it, right? My wife is, ah, oh, I just lost it again. I shouldn't be looking at Miss Empire when I do this. She's done that to me ever since we, uh, we met each other. She stole my heart. Okay, I got to come back down. 
Um, Miss Empire, come and look over my shoulder. Yeah, come look over my shoulder. They can't see you. I think I've lost it. Oh, here it is. It says eligible for the 450 draw. I think that well, coming. Two red lines. No, there's no red line showing now. No, you're in the wrong place. I'm in the wrong place. Okay, she's going to straighten me out, guys. Oh, there it is. Okay, it was on down. Right there. <laughs> Y'all hear? <laughs> There's a, a, a little hint of irritation in her voice. Did you hear that? <laughs> I guess I guess you know your spouse, spouse well when you've uh, been married to her for 47 years. Did you hear her? She says maybe she should do that. Yeah, you might ought to. It might go a little smoother. But then again, it wouldn't be as it wouldn't be as um, entertaining. I don't believe. Okay, we're back where we need to be. Let me do the paste, and we're just going to scroll up and down. All right. Yep, we got everybody's name. So then, let me just remind you: after all that commotion, this is for the coin stock book sixty pocket. All right, let's go ahead and select this winner. Here it is: four, three. Two, one. Hey, Kane. Uh, Kane, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your, your name right. Kane, Kaney, Friday. Thank you so very much. You are now the proud owner of a coin stock book. We'll get these in the mail to you as quickly as possible. So all of the winners, please drop an e uh, a note to ECC in our email. It's down below. And to give us your address so we can ship these out to you. We'll ship them out promptly. Now, here's something I haven't said. You need to do this before the end of January. Do it before the end of January because if you don't get the address sent to us before the end of January, all prizes are forfeited. Okay? So get the uh, address to us by our ECC email, and these will be out in the post to you. All right, guys and gals, as unfortunately, uh, and I apologize, all the fumbling and the commentary I've made, it probably went a little too long. But in any case, you take care, and please know, if you're not out there looking, you're not finding. All the best.